Welcome to Mysterious Curiosity. Today, we're presenting you the strangest planets ever discovered in space. The James Webb Telescope's photos have recently been made public domain by NASA. These photographs are extremely amazing and unusual, and they reveal fascinating details about the universe. In another case, we identified an alien exoplanet with water, or H2O. When you see a name like Planet K2-18b, you can't help but think, wow, that's a pretty lengthy name. And you're right, it is. But that's only its scientific name. It was given a name to help people recognize it amid the thousands of other planets that are found every year. This was a planet that may perhaps serve as a future landing site for humans. Not just because it looks lovely and has the potential to host life, but because two independent groups of people have discovered that this planet has more than simply water. But there is water vapor there, one that gathers in the atmosphere and has the power to fall as rain on the planet. So it's possible to live on this planet. And who knows, maybe some alien species already live there. What does that mean for planet K2-18b? It is now estimated to be around twice the size of Earth, which, to be honest, isn't really all that horrible, since it would be considered a super-Earth. Although we are unsure if we will ever discover another Earth, planet K2-18b gives us hope that maybe there is one out there that might fit our needs. Between two worlds that are practically burning themselves to death and one that is literally drowning in itself, the hottest exoplanet yet found in our universe, Kelt 9 b is a planet that is literally burning its life right out from under it. We won't have to worry about it because this planet is 950 light years distant from Earth. However, there are various ways that the planet is dying. One of these is that it is in tidal lock with the sun in its system. As a result, the planet's surface is scorching on one side and cold on the other, since half of the planet is constantly pointed toward the star. The planet is three times the size of Jupiter and burns at a temperature of 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the real kicker. This is about the same as the temperature at which the core of the Earth, or our own star, burns. The planet will die as it burns away the gases that make it up due to this heat and the effects of its own star. Even though it will take a few million years, that section will eventually be reached. Nothing can stop it either. The exploration of the universe is continuously challenging what scientists believe about the universe. Really, genuinely Kepler-10c is a superb example of this. The planet Kepler-10c is a planet that is extremely big in terms of size and weight located near the Draco constellation around 560 light years from Earth. The planet is 17 times heavier than Earth, although being twice as big as it. You have an issue when you consider all of that in addition to the fact that it revolves around the sun that is close enough to the planet to produce a 45-day year. In general, those who study the formation of planets are unable to understand how a world like this developed, because it looks too huge and feels too weighty to have formed naturally. And as a result, there is now a kind of planet known as Mega Earths. Thanks for watching Mysterious Curiosity. Do you think it's possible that these planets may exist in space? Which one do you consider to be the strangest? Would you ever wish to have a close up look at one of these planets? Do you know of any more alien planets that have been found in the universe? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll speak with you again soon on the channel.